Welcome to Port Moody Rec's virtual class. Hi, I'm Mrs. S and these are my daughters Soren and Saxon and we all work or volunteer for the city of Port Moody. Today in our virtual classroom, we are going to do a kitchen experiment of elephant toothpaste. Today we are going to use an empty pot bottle, dish soap, yeast, hydrogen peroxide and food coloring. To begin our experiment, you're going to have an empty pot bottle and fill it just a bit at the bottom with our dish soap. I've already gone ahead and put some stripes of food coloring into our bottle. You can do that simply by taking your food coloring, tipping your bottle and having it roll down the side of the bottle. Or you can just dump a rainbow colors in. After that, we're going to get some warm water and our yeast and Saxon's going to mix those two together. In our other measuring cup, we have our hydrogen peroxide and we're going to slowly pour that into our pot bottle. And we can already see some bubbles forming in the bottom, which is awesome. Super cool. Then we're going to slowly swirl our hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide and our dish soap together just to get it all nice and mixed together. And if you've done stripes on your bottle, try not to, to mix too um, quickly so that we don't um, wash the stripes off the side of our bottle. All right, Saxon, did you make sure that's all mixed nice, yes. nicely together? Perfect. So we're going to take a look and just make sure that we have all you want to mix, make sure that you have all your, oops, sorry, all your lumps out and that your yeast is all mixed with your warm water. You got to make sure you use some warm water so it helps the yeast dissolve. All right. So now when Saxon adds the yeast to the uh, pot bottle, we're going to see what happens. All right, Saxon, you can come on over and Saxon's going to slowly pour, slowly but quickly pour the yeast into the bottle and here it comes it looks just like toothpaste yeah. yeah so when we did the red and blue stripes it looks like your toothpaste at home that is so cool and the more hydrogen peroxide you add and the more yeast mixture that you add the bigger the foam uh, that comes out of the top of the bottle starting to slow down Make sure that you have your surface covered with some plastic if you're gonna use food coloring because we don't want it to stain any tables or the driveway. Awesome guys, that was fantastic. What do you think? That was great. That worked Super awesome. Cool. Perfect. Good luck with our experiment and let us know how you do. Bye guys. See ya.